Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Arenes part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one very interesting question. We have to find the highest dipole moment of these compounds CH3Cl, CH2Cl2, CHCl3, CCl4. Let's add methane to it. Why do leave it? We have to find the highest term. So here, let's have, uh, before we start, let's have some basics. So for carbon, electronegativity is 2.5 because here carbon, hydrogen is involved. Hydrogen it is 2.2 and chlorine it is 3.2, we know that. So carbon, hydrogen, delta of electronegativity is 0.3 and carbon and chlorine is almost 0.8, right? So also I know that carbon, hydrogen, dipole moment is nothing but 0.3. Mu and carbon chlorine is 1.56. This is something which we know, right? Because the difference in electronegativity, carbon hydrogen is less, carbon chlorine is more. This is what we know. Just to simplify things, what we will do is we'll assume carbon hydrogen to be x, and this is almost five times x, so this is uh, assume it 5x. Pay enough. Just to simplify things, right? Just so it is x, this is 5x. So now this is CHCl3. So my chlorine is the blue one. This is blue chlorine. This is the chlorine and these are my hydrogens. As I know, hydrogen will do what? Hydrogen will pull electron, sorry, give electron to carbon. Right? This also will give electron to carbon. This will also give electron to carbon and this will pull electron. And the angle between these is 109 degree. Angle is 109 degree. You take any of these, for example, you take carbon and chlorine, uh, hydrogen and chlorine. This is 109, this two hydrogen, 109, this is 109. Any of these angles, 109, and that's the uh, beauty of tetrahedron structure, right? So now if you take CHCl3, I using carbon hydrogen dipole is X. So that means I have some X unit in this direction, X in this direction, and X is coming from this direction. And in this I have 5x because carbon chlorine is almost 5x right so this is the, what the structure is now if you see these ones they are also pointing towards carbon the main carbon here so if you take the horizontal component of these x right they'll all cancel because it will be something like this if you, if you see the uh, vector diagram if you, want, if you draw the horizontal component of this and you see the top view it'll all cancel because this these and these will cancel right but the vertical component if you see will add and each will add x cos theta right and theta is nothing but 109 degree so these three will add in this direction how much 3x cos 109 degree and this will add how much 5x so the net dipole is what 5x plus 3x cos theta and cos 109 is nothing but 0.3 so almost this becomes 3 into 0 0.3, almost it becomes 3 into 0 0.33, almost this becomes almost 1. So this becomes 5x, this, this total is 5x in this direction and this 3 is nothing but 1x in this direction, why? 3x cos theta. So total is how much? Total is 6x in this direction and in this direction 0, right? In this direction how much? 0. This is my total dipole for CHCl3. Let's see the same thing for CH2Cl2. Here I have two chlorines. So this chlorine will attract, this chlorine will attract and this will with 5x intensity, this will with 5x intensity, this hydrogen will give it to carbon with x intensity and this will also give it to carbon with x intensity. Right? So if you see the structure here also it looks like this. So this is 5x trying to pull x trying to give, x trying to give and again here 5x trying to give. So if you see the bottom ones now first, so if you see the total dipole will be what? 5, this will be 5 cos theta in this direction and this will be, I'll just draw, this will be 5 cos theta in this direction and for these two hydrogen it will be 2x cos theta in this direction, right? Because they are 2. So total will be what? 3x cos theta in this direction 
right? 3x cos theta. And for this, it will be how much? 5x. Sorry, it will be 3x in this direction. 3x cos theta in this direction. If you see, total is 3x cos theta in this direction. So 3x cos theta is how much? Almost 1, right? So the net dipole in this direction will be how much? In this case, it will be 5 minus 1 because this is nothing but 1x, right? Cos theta is 1 by 3 almost. So this is almost 5 minus 3 is 4x. But if you see in this case, the horizontal component won't cancel, right? So this will have some, this will have some, this will have. In fact, if you find the horizontal component in this direction, it will be 5x sin theta, 5x sin theta. It will be 1 sin theta, 1 sin theta. So it will be, it will be adding here, right? So it will be 7x sin theta and sin theta is almost 0.9 here. So it will be here almost 7 into 0.9, almost 6, let's suppose 6x here and 4x here. So the net dipole will be somewhere in this direction and which will be somewhere I assume it will be around 5.8 or something, net direction. Here it is 6, correct. Let's see the third figure. Now let's see for CSCl3. So let's assume these are chlorine molecules here. All this chlorine will attract electron towards itself and hydrogen will give electron. So in this direction we will have X force because hydrogen dipole moment I am assuming as CH is X and these guys if you see horizontally they will cancel each other. Horizontally they will cancel each other in direction but in vertical it will be how much? 5 each, 5 into 3 is 15, x cos 109 degree, right? This will be how much? This will be 15 into 0.3, that is 5, 4.5, right? 15 into 0.3 is almost 4.5. So the total is this 4.5x. So the total net will be how much? Net in this direction will be x plus 4.5x, that is 5.5x mu. So you just I have used this word x here. This is 6x mu, this is 5x mu, this is 5.8 mu. Let's see for CCL4. So in CCL4, if you see, all these chlorine molecules will attract each other and the net will be zero because it's all symmetrical, right? So from one point at the equal angle, 1090, if you're trying to pull, the net will be zero. Similarly for CC, CH4 will be also be zero because assume this is hydrogen, right? So each of this hydrogen is trying to pull and at the same point and they are all symmetrical, so total will be zero. So if you see here, the maximum is for what? The maximum is for this guy. That is CH3Cl. This has max. This has max. And the value is almost 1.87 mu. The next is what? The next is uh, we got uh, 5.8, this guy, CH2Cl2, right? This is the next guy. And then we have CSCl3 and CCl4. Correct. So I have CH3Cl1.87, this is max. CH2Cl2 is the next guy. That is almost 1.6 D. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.